WLBT. Three on your side. WLBT News starts now. Good morning, it is 5 o'clock. I'm First Alert Meteorologist Julia Wyden. We had an active night of weather. We had tornado warnings, tornado watches during the overnight, but this update to bring you all tornado watches have been canceled for our viewing area. Uh, so no severe weather threat anymore. That has ended, but we still do have plenty of rain to talk about on First Alert Doppler radar. Right now, the leading edge of that rain is currently in the eastern portion of Mississippi. That's over towards Meridian. The back end of the rain is making its way towards the I-55 corridor. Now, even though the rain is ending from west to east. We have totaled about two to five inches of rain during the course of the overnight. So there is still that possibility for flooding as you head out the door this morning. Want to make sure you stay safe and we're going to continue to bring you updates on what to expect through the day as we head throughout the course of the morning. All right, Julia, the inclement weather this morning may cause some slick roads as you're headed to work and school this morning. Yeah, Jewel Hillary joins us live on the road this morning with a look. Good morning, Jewel. Hi, good morning, Wilson. Good morning, Joy. We are located off of the Fortification Street exit of I-55. And as Julia mentioned, the rain has started to die down. It's a lot different than it was last night. And let me just take a step out the shot so you can just um, get a look at the roads this morning. Smooth sailing so far from what we can see, of course, because it has been raining uh, since last night. The roads are very slick and there are lots of puddles. And as Julia mentioned, uh, there could be the chance of some possible areas of flooding. So when you're out driving this morning and throughout the rest of the day, of course, if you come in towards any puddles, the best thing to do is to turn around so you don't drown. You never know how deep those actual uh, puddles or uh, standing water might be. But as of right now, traffic is pretty clear from our vantage point. When I called the Jackson Police Department, they didn't have any incidents going on. So hopefully it'll stay smooth for the rest of this morning. Of course, be safe as you're traveling in the rain this morning. Reporting live in Jackson, I'm Jewel Hillary, three on your side. All right, Jewel, in Pearl, two westbound lanes of Interstate 20 had to be shut down during last night's storms. Check out the video. All the rain was just too much for the highway. Water covered the lanes and made them too dangerous for travel. We are working to get in touch with MDOT for an update on the conditions there right now. And right now, people in about 6,000 households are waking up without electricity. And most of the customers are in Hines County with a little over 1,600 folks in the dark. Madison County has close to 1,000. And there were about 779 customers in Warren County, 476 customers with no electricity this morning in Rankin County. Entergy crews are working across the state to restore power to these areas. And power is back on at Highland Village this morning after the shopping center lost power during last night's storms. Restaurants like Char, Bravo and stores like McDade's and Whole Foods closed early because of the outage, which happened around 830. We're told that two women were stuck in an elevator at one point but they made it out safely. And in Ridgeland, police confirm a tree fell on a power line on Post Road and Rice Road. We were told energy crews will be out this morning to repair, and right now they have set up barricades for that area. In Hines County, strong winds battered trees in the Edwards area. A few trees fell across portions of Highway 467 near Military Road. Our crews were on the scene as Hines County emergency crews responded to the scene around 10 last night. Crews blocked off the highway to cut away limbs from large treetops that covered a section of the pavement near the Cal Mains Food Distribution Center. This stretch of highway has four trees that has fallen and one we can't get to and uh, get up because the power lines are in it. We're waiting on energy to get in and take care of that and we're going to have the highway cleared again. So far, there have been no reports of injuries or damage to structures in that area. And for continuing coverage, of course, stay up to date on the latest weather conditions and be sure to download our First Alert weather app and visit our website, msnewsnow.com. First Alert meteorologist Julia Wyden back with us now yeah. with a look at this radar. It was quite a night last night. It really was a lot of thunder and lightning uh, that may have woken some folks up last night, plus the tornado warnings that we yeah. had. But again, to update you, all of those watches and warnings are canceled now. We're still dealing with a lot of rain, generally moderate rain showers, and they're widespread along I-55 and farther east. They're continuing to move east from there. Now, when it comes to your morning drive, what you need to know is that we do again have that threat for uh, rain during the course of the morning. I'm expecting that it's going to start to end by around 9 a.m. or so in the metro area, but again, this will impact your morning commute. The temp's currently in the mid-50s. The showers are going to be clearing up by around midday today and is going to be 
to be a whole lot nicer. Now we did have some reports of storm damage during the overnight. Meteorologist Heather Sophia is here right now. I'm going to join her on over in the weather center. Heather, some of these photos that were sent in were pretty impressive. Can you tell us about what we're looking at here? Yeah, what's really neat is actually this picture was taken at night. So how did this happen? We had a ton of lightning that came through with these storms. At one point, we had more than a thousand strikes that were touching down there across central Mississippi. We love seeing your view of the weather. Always be safe when you're doing that. This was sent in from Ralph Miller in Warren County. We love seeing your pictures. The way you can get them to us is by downloading it or, or downloading our app, submitting it through our app. Text the word first alert, all one word to 340-340 and you can submit it that way. You can also share it with us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram because this storm did go through over the night hours and so you may just be waking up to some of this damage so you can uh, share it with us and you may see it he featured right here on TV. All right thanks so much we're going to be back with another full check on your forecast right after this break stay tuned.